All right, Jake, uh, what, are, what are some takeaways from today for you? Well, I think the biggest thing is, you know, we're through six practices already and you start to reveal a little bit of the makeup and the mentality of the team. And I think first off, we just we need to get better in every area. You know, that's from taking care of the ball, our physicality at the line of scrimmage, communication on defense, tackling. It just, it, that excites me though. I, I mean that. And I, we got a bunch of guys that are working their tail off. They believe in each other and they know what we want to do and they have the vision of it. We just got to get better in every area of going out there and executing. But I think there's going to be a lot of learns from this tape, uh, a lot of good, uh, some big playmaking to be had. But I got to watch the film and then see kind of where we go from here. I mean, you know, fans are always going to wonder about quarterback. What, yeah. What do you think today between those two guys? We'll see what the tape says, but through six practices, John's turned the ball over too much. And, I, you know, I'd say that kind of repeatedly if he was here too. we got to be better. Uh, I thought Zevi is very savvy. He's very pocket conscious. You know, he kind of threw a pick today as well. That's kind of his first to camp. So we'll see. I think operation-wise, I like where they're at mentally. I think they're really strong. I think they're both great leaders. Uh, but it's going to be a long journey as we go. But uh, that'll be a good question on Tuesday. I'll kind of see what the tape says. All right, last question I have for you. Tyson Duran on the defensive side, he seemed to be flying around. Through six practices, he's been a really big, bright spot. You know, and I don't want to heap too much praise because there's a long journey, but there's not a moment so far that's been too big for him. He's learning a new defense, even a new position, uh, and he's just really adapted to everything that we've had. Love his energy. He's such a positive person to be around and just really happy that he's on our football team. One of the, he's kind of an under-recruited guy. Coach Ben had some ties to him from Akron, our strength and conditioning coach, and he's just delivered every step of the way. So proud of him so far. You get that first spring scrimmage out of the way. Uh, now you got eight more practices yeah. to go. I guess what what are the next steps uh, to, to to keep uh, attacking? So like I said, I like to do the early scrimmage and practice six because it's just fundamentals. Now practice twelve will be our next scrimmage. So we got about five more practices in between to kind of go to the next level of our offense and defense. Uh, a lot more situational things, uh, two minute, some sequencing, fourth downs. I mean, just some situational stuff that we got to get better at. So. Can our guys take the learns and apply it on the field, right? We're coaching, we're teaching, but can our guys get it to application on the field? That'll be a big focus as we keep going. Defense seemed to be flying around. I know you said that a lot of it was the offense kind of self-inflicted wounds, but it looked yeah. like uh, good energy today. Uh, what did you like from the defense today? Well, first off, challenge both sides this morning. Who's going to run the football? Who's going to stop the run? And I thought they did a good job for the most part stopping the run, you know, forcing them to be one dimensional so we can attack with our defensive front that I think is pretty talented. So I thought we executed and handled the tempo of the offense way better than we did last year at this time. I mean, way better. So I think those are some bright spots that we'll take away from the defense. You mentioned the run game. What is it going to take to kind of get that going here in this part of camp? And, and well, I, I will say this, there's no other option. We need to get the run game going. We got four tailbacks. I think we're capable. A little banged up early on on the offensive line. Wanted to see Ashton trip today, and he went down early. But we got to start taking those learns at the offensive line and getting it out there. And there's a physicality to it. When you put your hand in the dirt, there's a mentality to it. And we need to be tougher. And it starts up front. And uh, there'll be some good things on this tape, but there's a lot of things where we need to grow. When it comes to John cleaning things up, as you mentioned, does that just come with time and experience? Well, I think he's, or? yeah, he's just pressing just a touch, you know, just just a touch. It's like, be you, John. And I think John's a new blended skill set. And you can see it with his feet, what he can do there. But there's just some things there, you know, like in practice five, he threw a, a skinny into a one high safety. and It was like an easy pick. So there's just some learns that at that position, everything's on your shoulders, that you got to go out there and make a bunch of great plays. Now. I thought we did a good job responding in some situations. Ethan O'Connor got beat, he come back and made the play the next play. Uh, John threw a pick, then he comes back and leads us down the field. So, you know, we had a false start, we go out there and get the first down. You know, team of response and resilient teams win. So that's what I want to keep continue to see out of our group. You mentioned being banged up on the offensive line. One, I'm curious what that Brock status is with his arm in a sling. and yeah. then. Two, like having three of your guys out, does that make it hard to judge how that unit is doing? Or I don't know if that's uh, how that's going. Well, I'll tell you what, the, you'll get from me a no excuse approach. I don't care who's in there. Toughness is mentality, it isn't talent, right? So there's a want to to want to do those type of things that I think have to continue to show up. I mean, yeah, Brock's banged up, Christian was banged up, Trip went down early, Lily's still getting back. I, I understand those facts, but that might happen during the season. So Luke and Landon Roten, Noah Dunham, uh, 
Nathan Gates. I mean, those guys need to step up and need to play some football, Zach Miller. So I'm excited to see their growth because we need to continue to learn how to be a deep football team. And, you know, those guys got to keep getting better. Do you have any idea on, on Brock's status and how, how, how he might be out? Well, c a couple of weeks. You know, I think it's kind of we got a couple of AC joints here and there. So we got to strengthen those shoulders up and get these guys back out there. And I was curious about the Tony Freeman, who we have not really talked about a whole lot with the touchdown catch early on. What do you get of his camp so far? I, I think so far he's been good. He's been a lightning bug in there. I mean, he had 20 miles per hour in pads the other day. That is flying. And to track that ball over his shoulder, he is a vertical track player. A la Renard Bell a little bit. I think that's what we see every time we see him. Excited about his playmaking ability. I think he's got some ability in the return game as well that he hasn't shown yet. So excited about Tony and what he's doing so far. I wanted to ask you about another player that kind of stood out today um, on the defensive side, Jalen Edmonds. Yeah. A couple of pass breakups, also a big tackle for loss on a guy a lot bigger than him, obviously, a tight end, just what you kind of saw from him. Those two young guys on defense, Frank Cassano and Jalen Edmond, They've been great, and I like Frank's physicality, and Jalen especially, he missed the first couple practices. So to come out in these last three and then go out there and perform like he did today, very proud of that kid, and he is a bulldog, and he's an athletic as heck. So uh, great position for him there at nickel. And on that first drive, uh, 11 plays, 75 yeah. yards, but eight different guys touched the ball on offense. How do you feel like your team is looking right now um, ver versatility-wise and depth-wise? I think once again, as I said last year, I think we're deeper at wide receiver than we were a year ago. Uh, so Kyle was limited today just because we know what Kyle can do. So we want to see these guys a bunch. And I think it's kind of lead to what you're going to see during the season, four and five play rotations, keeping guys fresh and getting the balls in our playmakers' hands. You know, I thought our guys did some good things after the catch today, but I was also pretty happy with our defensive tackling. Coach, you just mentioned Kyle uh, kind of limited just in the sense you know what yep. you have in him. It seems like in years past there's been a lot more of those guys, the Brendans, the yeah, RJs, yeah. whereas this year it seems like just about everyone is going to be full go. You know, you've got to earn your spot, so to yeah. speak. How much do you think that helps breed the competition you want to see? I think it's vital. I think it's everything, Jamie. I mean that. I think we got competition going at every position. And... It's going to bring out the best in you, and it's going to reveal who you are each and every day. So whether that's quarterback to D-tackle, the linebacker, it's competitive out there, and I'm excited about that. Uh, but at the end of the day, there's going to be multiple players, you know, playing at those positions. You know, Tyson has been great, but Boogie has also been pushing, and that's they bring out the best in each other. So there's nothing but positive so far in the competitive nature of this football team. Fair to say this maybe was the best week of uh, camp Andre Dollars had in the three years he's been here? Yeah, I just... I want to keep Andre going. I think that is a fair statement. I think he had a great one-handed play the other day. But we need him. We need, especially that tight end position, to be more versatile and to move people. And I, I think that's a fair statement. We'll see what today says. But I'm proud of Andre and his development. And sometimes these things take time. And now he's into kind of year three playing. And you know, th those are the big jumps that we need in year three. You mentioned, I think it was last week, that you know you kind of had to almost dial back Keith Brown a little bit just because yeah. you know he he almost goes too hard in practice. Yeah. Had a couple big hits today. I mean, is that one of those where you kind of tell him, hey, you get to let loose today, hit <laughs> hit as hard as you want to hit? Well, it's just the finishes. You can't take people down and tag, but you can be as physical as you want every day. I I've been proud of Keith. You know, he's he's been battling Kyle. They've been you know kind of growing together, and Kyle's like the ultimate teammate. You see him just helping. Keith learned the defense so he can go out there play and perform because we need both of those guys at a high level not just on defense but special teams and he's a big physical presence out there that you see when he gets his pads on and I thought he's answered the bell you know every step of the way so let's keep growing and getting them better. You mentioned Tyson a lot as well it seemed like earlier in the week there was a little bit of uh, some cross training involved with playing a little free and playing a little strong yeah. I mean you, you kind of see him maybe trying to play both or are you really trying to keep him at that free Durant? spot? Yeah. Uh, we've had Boogie at a little more strong than Tyson. Tyson maybe might flex a little bit down to the inside cover guy, but, you know, we don't want to put a lot on new guys. We just want to make sure they're out there doing. But on Tuesdays, Jackson and uh, Moku have class, so we got to do some flexing back there. Maybe just overall speaking, um, how nice to get the just get the first scrimmage out of the way, get some of those jitters and just that first game like scenario done for you guys and move on. It was good, and we had you know even in the cold weather we had some family weekend uh, uh, parents here. It was good to see, uh, but just excited about getting our team out in a competitive environment and see who they are. 
who's going to stick to their training, who's going to try to do too much, who's going to go highs and lows and get emotional, and who's going to stay steady. So you only get that through live bullets. So excited about kind of finally getting this first scrimmage under our belt.